hello friends so once again welcome you to my channel and in this today's video you will see memory interleaving so to explain this uh, concept of memory interleaving uh, here see in case of memory interleaving what we are going to do is before we know uh, before this we are thinking that memory is only a single module right memory is a single module storing our bytes in one one location if the memory is byte addressable now what we are going to do is we are going to have multiple modules right we are going to have multiple modules of memory right and each module see whenever we are communicating with memory we require address and we require the data right so whenever we are communicating with this multiple modules we require uh, two registers one is your address buffer register one is the data buffer register so whatever address we want to give to the memory module that will be given to this register whatever data comes from this uh, module that will come in this buffer register or whatever data we want to write into a module that we will give in dbr this is something similar to our mar and mdr mar stands for memory address register uh, and then mdr is memory data register here for individual modules we will have dedicated ABR and DBR, right? So this concept says you divide the memory system into number of memory modules. And next I'll discuss what is the advantage of doing all this. So divide the memory system into a number of memory modules. Each module has its own address buffer register and data buffer register. Use is known to us to provide address and to get the data or to write the data. Arranges. Now see what will be there in this module. We can have arranges, see uh, addressing so that successive words in the address space are placed in memory modules. So see, we need to understand the meaning of address space. Though I have told this in my beginning videos. Address space means what? Whatever your, uh, suppose this is my one single memory module. I have this addresses 0, 1, 2, 3, depending on whatever is the number of address lines I'm using. This is my last location. So this is my total address space. Now see, from this total address space, what I am going to do means how I am going to arrange the bytes in the different modules. For that, there are two arrangements are there. So see, suppose now I have instead of one, I have got number of memory modules. Right? Instead of one, I have got number of memory modules. What I can do is, these conjugative locations, I can place in conjugative modules. This is one. This is zero memory location one, two, three, right? This I can do or conjugative locations we can place in a single module also. So there are two design alternatives are there, right? So what is address space is understood and then how to arrange these successive words in the address space that in different modules for that two arrangements we can have. When requests for memory access involve conjugative addresses, the access will be to different modules if they are placed in different modules, consecutive locations or it may be to a single module also. Since parallel access to these modules is possible because the benefit is whenever we we'll place it in different different modules. So since parallel access to this module is possible, the average rate of fetching words from the main memory will be increased. Because from this module I will get something, from this module I will get something. So as a whole, within the same time period, I will get multiple bytes. So that will increase the speed. So to explain you how to uh, that, uh, what is that? How to arrange the available address space. For that, I have taken one small example. So see, suppose my address space consists of only say three bits. For example, only I am taking only three bits. So when I write the three bits binary combination, these possible combinations are there all 0, 0 to all 1, 1. I can have two design uh, alternatives. In one design alternative, what I can have is, these are suppose the addresses of a location inside a module. And this is my module number. What I wanted to tell is, suppose these three bits are there. Three bits, I am writing these combinations once again here. 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0 and all. Right? 1, 0, 1 like this. So see, in this binary bit combination, three bits are there. I can have two arrangements. 
conjugative location in a single module conjugative location in a single module if i am going to go for that particular design then what we will do this lower order address lines will represent a location inside a module will represent a location inside a module and the higher order this bit is indicating the module number is indicating the module number so see for conjugative addresses if i am going to place conjugative locations in a single module that time to represent the module number we will be using higher order bits of my address and lower order bits will represent what my location inside a module right so see and what i know for my conjugative locations addresses what will very very quickly this lower order address lines will very quickly compared to this higher order lines right due to that i said this one will be my module number and this one will be the address inside a module because for conjugative addresses higher order line will remain for some time same and the lower order will vary from all 00 to all 11 so if i require one bit to represent my module number that means what in the memory design i have got two modules one is represented by this number 0 another is represented by this number 1 and inside the module how many locations are there four locations are there because to represent one location inside a module we are using two number of bits 00 to all 11 this is one arrangement where conjugative addresses will be there inside the same module if suppose i am going to have conjugative locations in conjugative modules conjugative locations in conjugative modules then what i am supposed to do that time whatever is my this arrangement that 0 0 i will write here once again 0 0 0 1 this is 0 right this is 0 1 0 1 0 this is 1 then 0 1 1 then it is coming for 1 right 1 0 1 and so on so if i want to have conjugative locations in conjugative modules then which particular bits will represent my module number this part will represent my module number and this part will represent address inside a module so for conjugative memory location addresses this part will be varying they will represent what my module number higher order bit will remain constant that means what from each of the modules i am taking the first locations content the whose address is what zero then again i will see then again this uh, this will become one again this bits will become what 0001 1011 -1 -1 -1. so they will represent again what different different module and inside all those modules i am going to access the second byte whose address is nothing but one right so depending on how i am going to arrange the uh, uh, the conjugative bytes in my modules i can represent conjugative bytes in same module or i can have conjugative bytes in conjugative module the basic idea is understood now see we'll see it formally so see methods of address layout higher order bits are representing module number lower order uh, part is representing what address inside a module this is my total main memory address i'm dividing it into two parts why i need to do that because now my memory is not consisting of a single module it has got number of modules so only giving address inside a module will not help me i need to tell which module i want to talk to right so for that one part is representing module number one part is representing that address inside a module now now see in this arrangement see higher order bit is representing module number so higher order bit will remain uh, constant for some uh, lower order bits all variation from 00 to all 11 so this arrangement is representing what conjugative locations are there inside a single module conjugative locations are there inside a single module because see this will remain 0 00 01 10 11 -1. so see this zero will remain constant this is representing module number this is representing the address so address will change that means 
for some time i'll be talking to this module and inside this module the various locations are represented by these bits and address inside a module is given to whom abr abr stands for address buffer register so see this part is representing module number so these bits will go to whom this to select a module and this part will go to abr to get the particular data inside the selected module so here see already i explained consecutive words or bytes are placed in a module in a single module we are placing the consecutive locations content so higher order k bits of memory address determine what module which module you are talking to and lower order will represent what the address within a module right and this arrangement is uh, beneficial whenever we are transferring your see a block of words is transferred from main memory to cache right for a cache means suppose from, from main memory we are sending one block to the cache so only one module need to be kept busy so that time this arrangement is applicable only one module will be busy at that time right so hope this is understood what you basically need to understand properly is which part will represent module number and which part will represent address inside a module then only the whole thing will be clear then the another one this time i have changed this part is representing module number and this part is representing address inside a module so this part will be varying faster so i'll be talking for consecutive address i'll be talking to consecutive modules and here higher order bits will represent address inside a module so from all the modules say i first talking to address number 0 right so then all the modules will give their first first byte i'll get four bytes together in one single time means suppose i require two nano two clock cycles two clock cycles to cc to get one data so in two clock cycles actually i'll get from this design suppose four modules are there so i'll be getting four bytes instead of one byte because all are working in parallel all are given the same address and all the modules are selected so i can have this four bytes that is the benefit part so consecutive words are located in consecutive modules that time please do understand your lower order represents your module number so lower order k bits will determine the module number higher order will determine the word inside a module the benefit part is several memory modules will be kept busy so that our total transfer rate will increase because in the same time frame i will get data from each of the modules in the same time frame i can give data to all the modules so that will make the operation faster please do understand whenever we are doing this arrangement suppose here two bits are there then suppose here three bits are there then we should have eight number of memory modules right and here suppose i am using three number of bits so each module should be able to keep eight number of data bytes right otherwise there will be gaps in memory addresses means some addresses are there which are non existing that is called as gaps in the mem address space right so this is about how to place the data in various modules and in the next video we will see what some numericals on interleaving hope this part is clear right because see this one uh, here module number is lower order bits higher order is address so module number will be very quickly 0001011 so this is module number 00 this is 01 next one will be 10 this is say 11 and to each of them i am giving address what zero so all of them will give me what the first byte stored there right so four data bytes will come in parallel and that is really beneficial for us that will make the operations faster so till then so hope this part is clear and next we will be solving some numericals on interleaving this is a very important topic so please go through this properly thank you